grand theme for Mountaintop this year was a living act of praise. And the verse is from Romans 12, 1 through 2. I don't know if they have it to put up. Now, I don't normally use this version, but Mountaintop used this version. It was from the message. So I'm going to read it to you. Um, so here's what I want you to do, God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well-adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. So many of you know that when we go to Mountaintop, you know, you think of the projects that we work on and, you know, all of that stuff. But we do have times throughout the day to um, purposefully connect with God. And so um, we have several opportunities each day. One is through our morning day break, which they give us a devotion to read every morning. One is a midday break where um, our MC comes out to our work site and sits down with us and we pray together and kind of talk about the verse of the day and the theme and all of that. And then the last one is evening worship. So we have worship in some form every um, night while we're there. So every day has a different focus within the overall theme. And on Monday, our, um, our theme was a posture of praise. So we were trying to explore what does it take for praise to be our natural disposition. On Tuesday, our theme was build your life on mercy. Um, and it was talking about how we receive God's mercies every day. And even if it's just enough for that day, it's enough. On Wednesday, we learned and talked about don't conform and be transformed. On Thursday, we talked about what is pleasing and mature. We were invited to think about what is pleasing to God and how to grow in spiritual maturity. And then on Friday, um, the theme was make your life an offering. Extend God's grace to everyone we encounter. And we were encouraged to think of ways to show God's love to others. Um, so there's always different things each um, time I go that stand out each year. And sometimes it's a family that you work with. Sometimes, you know, you really connect with your YRG. But for me this year, I had a couple of things. One was, um, because I've gone so many years, uh, reconnecting with people from the past. So when we got to, um, to Mountaintop and they introduced the staff, one of the guys, he was like the field um, service manager, tool guy, um, his name was Danny Wade from South Lions. And I'm like, oh, wait, is that Danny from South Lions? So back in 2014, which was my original year, um, when I took a group, I went with Scott and them, um, one of the campers was from a church called South Lions in Michigan, and his name was Danny, and he really connected with the guys in our um, group from Lakeside, and he had a real bromance going on with Micah Powell. And so <laughs> he was also there in 2015, and the same thing, they all connected and stuff like that. So when I went up to him and I said, are you Danny from South Lions? He goes, aren't you Michael's mom? And I'm like, yes! And so we were just like hugging and catching up all week long, and, and, you know, just, it was just great to see someone who had been a camper now was on staff, and it was just great to see all the growth that he had, you know, and all the things that he had gone through. Also, there were several people there who had been on staff in 2015, and one of them is Dan, and he's like a permanent, um, on permanent staff over at Pines, but he came over one night um, to just see us. I think he came on Friday night to see us, you know, who the old time people that were there, and so he came in, and he spotted me, and I'm like, Dan, oh my gosh, you know, so we got to talk with him, and there was others that were there. Um, Chad is now on permanent staff. One of the girls that was there for um, the board of director's meeting. Emma, she had been on staff in 2015, so she came Sunday night, and, you know, got to, I got to see her, and she's like, oh my gosh, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that was like a real highlight for me, is just reconnecting with people and talking about the old memories and stuff like that. And then in addition to that, one of the ladies that we, my, my team worked for, Miss um, Rose, 
She, um, we did painting, you'll see in the slideshow, painting of her porch and wheelchair ramp. Um, I got an opportunity two different times to just sit and visit with her for over an hour, and she's homebound. And she has like something wrong with one of her legs, but she also has some other issues, and so she can't really leave her house. And um, so I was just really impressed by the fact I was talking with her, and she's in her 70s, and I'm like, so if you can't leave the house, like, what do you do all day? And she's like, well, I read my Bible. I sit here and read my Bible most of the day, and then I also have some devotion books that I'll read, and occasionally at night I'll watch a little TV, but I just do a lot of reading. And I was like, well, how do you get your groceries? Like, how, like, how does this work? And she's like, well, she's like, my daughter lives in Dunlap, which is like 30 minutes away, but she seems to only come up like maybe once a month. Um, but she said that her mail lady um, goes shopping on Saturdays, and she always asks her if she needs anything, and so she gets her groceries, and then she brings them to her on Monday, and I thought, wow, I mean, what a community, because, like, I don't even know who my mailman is, you know, <laughs> and, and, and it was just so great, and, and another thing, like, when we were painted, we couldn't put some of the stuff back on our porch, she goes, oh, honey, don't worry about that, my garbage man, he'll put it back up there for me, and I'm thinking, wow, what a community, so it was just really great meeting with her and talking with her, and, you know, that was just really one of my highlights, so um, I put together a slideshow, and you can see some of the highlights of our trip. And then when we get done with that, I'm going to bring the whole team up and let them share a little bit about things that were meaningful for them. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, so that gave you a taste of some of the things that we did. All right, I'm gonna call the team up now, and what I would like for them to do is just introduce themselves, tell like what year this was, first year, second year, third, whatever, and then if they have something they wanna share about their experience. So um, should we stand down the floor? Yeah, okay. Can they see us? I'll just line up here and I'll just pass the mic down. Hi, I'm Tim Briggs. This was my first year going to Mountaintop. Um, I've been a member here for about 15 years now, I believe. And uh, we moved to North Carolina in 2017 for about three and a half years. So we, we kind of missed out on the prime of going to Mountaintop. But uh, last year, Connor and Emily went. And they, when they got back, they said, we really need to, you need to go with us next year, Dad. So I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. So the funny thing for me, when we first get to Mountaintop on Sunday, we go into the cafeteria hall. And there's a lot of loud music playing, a lot of singing. They're screaming what the menu is, and I'm thinking to myself, what in the world did I get into here? <laughs> but by, uh, by the second day, I was like, this is okay. So then the next thing you know, I'm singing and dancing, carrying on like everybody else was. So, so that was just kind of a, a weird, uh, enthusiastic uh, way to get started, I guess. Um, I don't really have any funny stories other than uh, I, w I was... Whenever anybody said, where's John? I said, well, I'm John this year, so. That's, I, was John, I was John's replacement this year, so. But, but, but it was a great experience. I'm glad I went, and uh, memories I'll, I'll take with me forever, so. Troy? Hi, uh, Troy Antonic. Uh, this is my first year uh, as a, going with the youth. I've been as a, adults in ministry once before, a number of years ago. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, Wendy kind of mentioned the disastrous trip that I kind of had driving up, you know, waiting at the Orlando airport and then driving like this just so I could look out at the passenger window uh, and pouring rainstorm, which uh, was, was enjoyable. It was nice to meet up with everyone, though, finally. And that way, instead of having them having 10 people in one van, they were able to, to split up and have a little more room to stretch out and go to sleep. So it uh, worked out well. Um, I didn't have any of the lakeside folks in my YRG, which was good and bad. It was, it was interesting. I worked with people from uh, Michigan, Kansas, and Iowa, um, and it was really cool just to see how not knowing any of them on day one when you get there and put your group together, and then by the end of the week, everyone's like crying because they're not going to see each other, you know. It was, it's pretty amazing how tight you get working with them and eating with them and hanging out with them. So, and then just watching them all uh, grow uh, throughout the week. So, hi, I'm Lucy McBride. This is my third year, and um, I've had a great time. Uh, after I went the first time, I said I'd never go again, and then here I am, my third year. Um, both of my kids have been going for quite a long time. And um, it's kind of interesting because Tatum was like, Mom, do you, what are you? I'm like, I don't have any crazy stories this year. Like, it was compared to the first two years, like last year was just nuts. Like, there's, it, we had so much stuff happen. So it was kind of nice not to have, but I don't really have any crazy stories. But probably what I would share is my YRG. Um, it was really cool to see, and this is what I would say to anyone if their kids are like contemplating or if you're gonna force them to go or whatever. It's such a great opportunity for the kids because it really does mature them and it really does give them the opportunity to see that everybody doesn't live like you do in Seminole County. And I think that's really important. And also being able to be in that community and be sharing and be doing things because um, Tim and I ended up being together, which was actually really nice. It's not really supposed to happen. You're really supposed to not be with anyone from your church if it can be avoided. But just the way everything went down, because he only had a year and I had three, we ended up together and it ended up being a really good partnership. I was so happy to have him because Tim knows what he's doing, like construction wise, because you'll walk in and you're like, what the, like who built this and how are we supposed to tie this in? And so he and I would be like, and I was actually proud of myself because I had to brag to my husband because I'm not, very handy. I actually came up with two brilliant ideas on two different times that we were like, well, what are we going to do? And we got it done. So that was good. But I would say for me, my YRG, the kids, like, it was funny because Tim was like, we had this, we had someone that had five years. So we had kids from Michigan, Ohio, and, or no, excuse me, Iowa, Michigan, and Wichita, Kansas. So we had every church actually. 
And we had a guy that had been there five years, and he got picked, and then we were, it was kind of weird how we did it this year. He was like, it was like football or dodgeball or like picking people. And I was like, go ahead, we'll take her, Teresa. And this kid, Adam's like, oh. And we're like, okay, sorry, she's in our group. So finally, Tim, like the first day, all right, what's the deal? What is the problem with you two? And he's like, uh, she's like, he's mean. And she's like, he talks, she talks too much. I go, well, you're not gonna like me because that's what I do. But it was funny because by the end, like they all gelled and like no one was talking to each other. It's the usual thing. Everybody will say, you're in the van. Everybody's really quiet. And by the end of the week, end of the week. It was just great to see how much they grew and came out of their shell. And I think that's what's like for me, I love to see like what happens to the youth when I'm there. So, um, and this is, will be my last year. <laughs> Where is he? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Tatum McBride. This is my, this is my fourth year going. Um, I'm that one's. <laughs> and, uh, this year, it was actually kind of funny because I had two other people from Lakeside in my group. I had Kate and Jaden in my group, which normally wouldn't happen because they try and like, you know, split you up as much as possible. But I don't know, we somehow all ended up in the same group. And RYG, like immediately, we were all like having so much fun together. And did we leave our work sites a lot later than other people? Maybe, but we got it done when we could. And that's what's important. But and yeah, I don't have any like crazy, epiphany, beautiful moment stories. I had a great time, but there was one on our two-day project. Um, we were building a porch for this couple um, <laughs> that they went and finished. They, went and finished. they did the roof um, <laughs> because you would think demo should be much easier than it is, and it was not. Um, but it was this really sweet couple, Susan and Kenny, and they were so funny and so welcoming and just very loving to us. But Kenny, he was, you know, we actually ended up meeting two people. Two people that we went and worked for both uh, lived in Sanford at some point in their life, which was crazy. And his, Kenny's brother went to Seminole High School. And we were like, you're kidding me. We're in the middle of Tennessee. And we run into someone that literally was where we used to, where we live. But he was, told us this story about his mother. Um, and she was in the hospital. And he was talking about how she wasn't, you know, very religious. She wasn't the religious, you know, type of person. But he is a very religious, you know, loves God. And he was just telling us, like, oh, you know, I went to the hospital and, she was a, not doing well, and I was like, oh, well, will you at least pray with me? And she was like, okay, you know, I'll pray with you. And he said he prayed with her for a while, and really shortly after they got done praying, she passed away. And he was like, I don't know if she made it to heaven. And, I was, and we were like, I think, I think it's okay. I think, she's, I think she's up there, and I think that that might have been a sign you know, and I just thought it was a really beautiful story, and it was just a guy that was so loving and so welcoming to us, and just, you know, hearing that kind of thing just is really, it's really refreshing, and it's really nice, and I had a great time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, my name is Kate. This was my second year going, and for a lot of us, I know this was the first time we were actually able to like mix the groups because as of last year, we were all together with our church. So um, like building that relationship with people from like Kansas, what was it, Michigan? Michigan, Iowa. Like we, Mi Iowa, we had people from everywhere. That was really, really cool. And bouncing off of what Tatum said, the same people, Kenny, this is kind of just like, so by the end of the week, he kind of like grew, like they would talk to us the whole time. Like all day, we were sitting on the work site, like Kenny and his wife, what was her name? Susan. Susan. Kenny and Susan would sit out there and talk with us. And like one by one, Kenny would bring us hats. So like he would like, by the end of the work site days, I think we literally came home with like eight hats. And a Jesus sculpture. And, and a Jesus, like a Jesus sculpture that they just kind of handed to us. And um, I don't know, it was just like his way of like, I guess his way of giving back to us and stuff like that was just giving us hats and Jesus sculptures, which was kind of cool. And then another one of our work sites, 
Um, and years, like last year, there was maybe one or two dogs that we had on the work site, but we get to this work site and it's immediately like dogs are biting at our tires. Like we're just, it's dogs everywhere. There were 17 dogs, 40 chickens, a bunny, and I think a total of like 12 cats. Some, yeah. So it was like, it, it, you couldn't get around the property without running into at least like three dogs at a time. But, and you kind of, some of them were nice, some of them were mean, but it was just like, it was really cool to kind of, I don't know, see that, so yeah. <laughs> All right, my name is Paige, and this was my second year going. Um, it was really cool to have my dad here this year. That was really awesome. And then one story I wanted to share was, um, our first day on the work site. We had like a really easy project. We just had to clean the sides of this um, lady's house and fix the porch step. And um, her husband had passed away a year ago. So she was kind of lonely and you could tell she just wanted to talk to us. Um, so she invited us into her home and she made us soup and cornbread, homemade sweet tea, um, banana pudding, like the best banana pudding ever. Um, and yeah, we just talked to her for like a good few hours and she was just really sweet and yeah, I had a great experience. <laughs> uh, I'm Zach, this is my, I, I think, fourth or fifth year going. Um, nothing like Tatum was saying, no like epiphany things happen, but uh, I have a story from the work site. I think it was our two day. And, uh, hold on, I'm blanking. Oh, so we were, um, yeah, yeah, that part. <laughs> so we were, like, laying down cool seals so, like, you know, the roof doesn't leak or whatever. And uh, we were, like, we were, like, killing it because we wanted to get done early and, like, go eat somewhere. Um, you know. And uh, it was, like, a gray, it was, like, it was, like, gray. Like the color was gray, and then we ran out, and the Danny brought more, and it was like silver and oily, and uh, it was like the same color as the original like roof. So I was like, you know, painting the thing or whatever, and then I stood up, and like I couldn't tell where I had painted, and uh, so I definitely like slipped and almost fell off a roof like two stories, <laughs> but you know it's okay because then. It got on my arm and it wouldn't come off. Um, and I looked like the Tin Man. <laughs> it's fine, I'll be here all week. <laughs> so we went to this, um, I'm almost done, guys, sorry. I went to this, we went to this like Amish store and I was like kind of buzzing off the fumes of this cool seal. It, it was bad, it was not a good time. Um, but. It was, it was kind of, I'm getting to my point here, hold on. So it was kind of cool to see like, you know, at this Amish store, how like other people, like how they live. Like I thought that was pretty interesting. And like, uh, we had to ask the lady for water. And she was like, yeah, we'll, we'll go get it from the, the, the barn for you guys. I, I don't know, I thought that was really sweet because she like left the whole store like unattended to go get me water so I could get the cool seal off of me. That's all. Hi, uh, I'm Alex. This is my second year at Mountain Top. Um, like Zach was saying, I don't have any like crazy stories, but I will say like I did not know like if you go deep enough in Tennessee, you start seeing Amish people. <laughs> All of a sudden, we just started seeing these Amish ladies riding on bikes, wearing like a dress. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and I don't know. That was just like something funny. But um, besides that, I don't know. I just, I like going to Mountaintop because it's like a breath of fresh air from like, you know, life here. You know, just increasing your faith uh, and just, you know, hanging out with, you know, making friends. Um, when I like got uh, into my YRG, I thought like the kids were kind of weird. You know, like these like random kids from like Iowa and Kansas and they weren't talking at all, but like as the week went on, um, um, they just started talking more, and it just it just like became a lot more fun. So, yeah, I had a good time.
My name is Julia. This is my second year. And um, my YRG, I was with Paige right there. And um, well, at first, like when we, our group, when we first started working, we like kind of weren't getting things done fast enough. We didn't like, I don't know, we were all like awkward around each other. And it was cool to see like by the end of the week, we had like really like gotten to know each other. And we were some of like, sometimes we'd be like the first group done with our projects. And I don't know, like meeting people from like all around the country and stuff, it's cool to like see like how you're similar and get to know things about each other. I don't know, it's a really good experience. Yeah. <laughs> um, my name is Jaden. This is my first year coming. Um, I came with her because she told me that I should go. <laughs> and um, initially I wasn't sure about it because I don't, like, I'm not like that like open to like meeting new people. I'm kind of like shy sometimes, but like it was cool. I, I wasn't sure I was going to feel, but I got in our YRG and I met people and I had a really good time. It was a really good experience. So I'm happy I went. <laughs> I'm Emily Briggs. This is my second year coming. And kind of like what Kate and Alex were saying, um, last year we didn't really mix, so we were just like within our own church. And so this year it was kind of cool to like meet people from like Iowa, Kansas, or was it Michigan? And I had a girl in my group that I became really close with. Me and her still text every single day. And that's just kind of cool that, like, you create bonds like that just within a week. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Connor Briggs. Uh, this is my second year going. And this experience was different because we actually got to intermix with other churches. So I think the biggest thing that I got to take away from this was you can really see once you get to know people, everyone really does have different strengths. And when you get put together with people that you wouldn't normally want to go out to talk to or want to go hang out with, you really get to see that y'all can come together as a collective and really get things done and do God's work. And I think that's the coolest thing I saw this year. Hi, I'm Jeremy Richmond. This is my second year going as an adult. I never went before as a youth. Uh, thank you, Scott Moser. Uh, <laughs> for your words of encouragement and my mentor last year. So uh, trust the process was kind of our theme. Um, but beyond that, last year, um, they, you know, because of COVID, they didn't split up the churches. Uh, so last year I had Wendy as my, uh, as, as a driver, I had Wendy as the other adult. This year I had the uh, director or youth ministry director from Wichita, Kansas. Paige. Yes, her 29th year going to Mountaintop as an adult. 29. So she started like when she was like 23. I don't want to tell her age, but, but 29 years. She has her own pavilion named at, the, uh, at Pine uh, Camp, the, the Paige Nelson Pavilion. So I thought like uh, I could maybe get up to Scott's 19. I'm not getting to 29. I mean, uh, but we'll see. Uh, you know, one of the things that the... The verse, right? Romans 12, 1 and 2, I think. Uh, you know, it's about the conforming. And, and, and more than that, it's like, you know, we do our everyday things and we don't try to get out of our comfort zone. That's one of the, the awesome things about Mountaintop is it forces you to get out of your, your comfort zone, whether it be meeting new people, whether it be going to um, the, the dining hall and them yelling out uh, eggs and bacon or, you know, for uh, breakfast. And uh, I think uh, yeah, we had <clears throat> just a great time and, and the ability to to actually live that verse of not conforming and and challenging ourselves to that change. In fact, one of the um, uh, girls in my YRG was from, she's from Iowa. Her name is Avery. And, and during one of the midday breaks, we said, well, how are you challenging yourself today or this week? And she said, well, I really don't like old people too much. <laughs> but, but, I've, but this week I've been sitting down and I'm talking with them and they're not so bad. <laughs> so... So it's the small changes, we'll work on it. So again, yeah, just enjoyed the time there at Mountaintop and uh, that's all I have.
So um, just to wrap this up, we did have 20 people that went on our team, but six of them are on vacation now, so there are six people that aren't here. But um, anyways, I just wanted to thank you guys, just like I said in the slideshow, thank you for your support and your prayers. Um, they definitely, you know, are felt. And, um, and once again, 2022 wrapped up Mountaintop. So thank you guys. Thank you.